Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody. And you know where you're at. You're at Dale Chanel's Four Days World, the family home of Dale Chanel's Four Days World, okay? And the family. And you all are my co hosts, the family, okay? Because you know we can, can, we can, can, and can, can, and can, can, and a will. That's right. I will keep bringing y'all the stories that I want to talk about, and I want my family. My YouTube family to weigh in on the discussion, okay? You get down in them comments after you watch the video and you tell me what you thought about this mess because that's all it was, a pile of shit. That's what it was, bullshit, okay? My favorite word, bullshit. And my four else, the foolishness, the fuckery, fraudulent, fakery behavior going on with both of these characters, okay? Because if Sheree knew and had business about herself, she wouldn't have made this mistake of going with this guy when he was already cheating on his wife. They just got, you know, divorce just freshly happened and all that stuff. Were they going through a divorce? Some shit like that. I don't know. But the boy, the, the man ain't nothing but a gigolo. A jig, jig, gigolo. Okay. He might got lonely, you know, but he's a gigolo. I mean, he has one for every week. He has one for every weekend. He has one for holidays. Now, I don't know why Sheree just didn't talk with Melody. Okay. Well, hell, usually when people get divorced, somebody wasn't doing something right. So, Sheree, I fought you. I fought you, baby girl. Because you should know better. You should know better, girl. You should know better. And then if you don't know better, you should have just knocked on the house the door called her up if you could because i know somebody knew melanie that could that they could have gave you her number so you can check up on it on why she left her husband and will he do the same thing to you i mean hey this is a new season we do credit checks we do background checks and damn if we have to go to the ex that was last associated with the man that you're trying to fool with you should have went and got a checkup on that situation. You could have invited the lady out for dinner or for lunch. And y'all just had a large kiki. But now you had to float your little sassy behind on over there. Now, see, Mar Melanie could have told you to scoop and you had to waste no time, no energy, and no <coughs> breaths for that man. Okay? Because evidently, Sheree, you claiming him. You don't show him to your family and friends. And the man ain't even claiming you. No. Nope. Mm -mm. He said he don't know where you got that situation from. Okay. Cause so he was only doing a, what do you call it? He was building a pool is what I hear. He's a contractor. That's why he looks so buff. But girl, girl, you couldn't even keep up with the con artist. Couldn't keep up with him. But we want to know, Sheree, where you getting all this damn money from to be uh, definitely keeping the lights on at the Chateau Charest. Because, you know, we, we it ain't on our damn business. It's really not. But, you know, we know it's hell over here. Okay? And my family, they be trying to say, you been so nosy. Yes, that's what I do. I bring successional stories home to the home front. And I call y'all over here. I be ringing everybody's phone. Ring! Ring! Ring a ding ding! Okay? To get y'all asses on over here so we can talk about this situation. Because I don't like to talk to myself. And I don't like to talk by myself. Okay? I need my family here to discuss these comings and goings. But yeah, child, that creep, that jokester, that con artist, that recently paroled man, now you don't swap that out and went to go catch up with lover man. And we ain't going to put the shopper on him. He just a lover man. 
Whoo, girl. I'm like, no, we know he's cute. He ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't ugly either. You know, he got a nice body. But he, he ain't claiming you, Sheree. Uh, I think he's messing with somebody else. Okay? And you know, from just what the tabloids told us, and some of uh, Melanie had put it out there on Instagram and Twitter and all this stuff, that he was a hoe. You know, so she had to let him go. All right? Simply put, like that. So why would you want to go shack up or, or just entertain or the man just taking all your time? Well, you know him, you know, good girl. You, you, you're you giving me this tease like Halle Berry. Uh, Halle Berry couldn't keep nobody either. As cute as she is, as fine as she is. You know what I'm saying? Girl got face. She got the body. She ain't no, she ain't no real sharp dresser though, so I can't give her fashions. But she got the face and she got the body. But she can't keep no man either. You remember, uh, what was that, ain't Justice? He played for the Atlanta Braves. But they say it was some domestic violence. That's a week. We ain't going to put it up with that. But then he married this other man that I think she had kids by. I think he was a white man. I'm not really sure. Okay, I didn't do my, I didn't do my vetting. I didn't do no research. I just came on the tube and just like have. You know what I'm saying? I give you raw and uncut stuff with some pretty visuals. But, um, yeah. And she got her Oscar. Her and Denzel for two of the lamest movies that you could have got him for. I mean, Denzel Washington, he has a plethora of works that could have been nominated for. But you know what he got it from? Training Day. A drug dealer. That's what he got here for. Being a drug dealer. And um, uh, Halle Berry got hers for Master Small. And she was sucking on the lollipop downstairs on a man. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Two devastating type of uh oscar winning awards that's what they had to find out of their catalog to give them an oscar for but hey i guess if you got an oscar got an oscar hey it seems like you just buy the oscar you know because when you get them to put them two sad uh movies out of all the works they had that you could have pulled from this is piss poor piss poor selection on the academy all right but anyway, that joker right there. Now, he was looking some kind of handsome before he went into jail. But he looking some kind of rough right about now. But, Sheree, I'm just uh, comparing you to uh, Halle Berry. You're cute. You got the body and all that. And you dress real well. Damn. You can't succeed in this love and marriage thing, can you? You can't seem to succeed. Because your, uh, what was his name, Lord? What was Sheree Whitfield's husband's name? She just got Bob, honey, Bob. Got a white white folk name called Bob, okay? Bob even met, made a fool at you. And he wasn't no looker at all. He must just had good conversation or a good package downstairs. Because he, he, he hard on the eyes. I can tell you. He, 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 you know, people might say I'm hard on the eyes too. But it's supposed to be trying. But Bob with him, child please. But you know what? I bet that joker got some money in the bank. Because he's very shrewd. He is very shrewd. You know what I'm saying? He ain't want to pay, uh, I think he still owes Sheree for child support. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Which, that's neither here nor there. That's nor here or there, okay? But we're just talking about Sheree Whitfield and her bad choice of choosing men. I don't know where we're going with it, y'all. I just don't know where we're going with it. Because she don't have no look. I think she just need to go to the, um, <coughs> what is it called? The convent and just be a nurse. That's what I think she need to do. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. That's what I think she need to do. Because she, she ain't doing good with these um, relationships. Not at all. Not at all. Sitting up there telling the world that you got this man. You dating this man. This man ain't even claiming you, girl. They ain't claiming you. And thanks for the um, thanks, uh, the neighborhood talk for all these pictures we have here to illustrate what we're talking about. Yes, but I'm just, oh, I'm tired of it. Sheree got my four L's. She got dumbass. She got bullshit. Any other derogatory name I could call her at this time. Because I'm like, girl, the writing was all on the wall. Somebody put it in flashing lights. Lights, lights, lights. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all know that song. But anyway, we gave her all the hints. Bloggers done been telling her about this man. Uh, did, did you not watch the, um, uh, uh was it Carlos King and Cocktails or something like that? Shit, I might be missing two two different things up, okay? I might be talking about Foxo when I mentioned the cocktail. But then Carlos King had a cocktails or something, after part or something. Shit, I don't know. But anyway, 
I, you know, some people say it could be a, a, a storyline linked up together, but I can't see Sheree moving to no Huntsville, Alabama. And I sure can't see uh, Love Him uh, where he love him and leave him, honey. I can't see him actually coming to Atlanta because he got four, ki- well, five, really five kids, okay? Just had one with a, a, a well, she, I think her name was, was it Ariana Curry or some shit like that? I don't know. But he's tied up with that. And that baby just got into the world. So, Sheree, what in the world were you thinking? Why were you thinking? That's the question I should be asking. Why were you thinking on this situation? You shouldn't have been thinking on this situation at all. Because it's a hot mess. Ooh, it's a hot mess. But I'm going to go on and let y'all listen to a few things. Uh, what Carlos King had to say, not Carlos King, Lord have mercy, uh, Funky Dineva, and Al, and, um, you know, I think uh, Claudia Jordan had on her show or whatever, on Fox Soul, and see, one thing I like about Claudia Jordan, she was laughing about this situation, this shit ain't funny, ain't nothing funny about this situation, all they she had to do is come on and report the news, but see, Claudia, if you go on over there to Fox Soul, pull it up today, but uh, for uh for day submissions for, I guess the um, what do you call it, the show they were producing today or um, what do you call it, revealing today. Fucking the news said he had a uh, <laughs> fucking the news said he got it got it from a good source that was saying that um, <laughs> Martel was having a fit where he was. He was telling everybody that could hear at the sound of his voice. He wasn't with no charade. He won't wear no charade, and he don't know where the shit came from. He was building her a pool. Now, charade, if it were me, if it were me, girl, if it were me, I, he wouldn't be building me no damn pool. I'd tell him to take all his materials and pack it up and get the hell on out my yard. And if he want to sit there and say you ain't paid for a charade, I'll back you up, baby. I would back you up. Because you know me? <laughs> I would say Hey, breach of contract, say whatever you want to say. I'll pay you for what you did, but you got to get the hell on out of here. Don't put no more cement. Don't dig up no more dirt because this situation is over with. So, And then, Sheree, if you were trying to finesse him to get a pool for half the price, you did it wrong, girl. You did it wrong because that just popped in my mind. Maybe you want some free work around here. You know what I'm saying? And you want to, um, what do you call it, sexualize him or whatever, tempting him or something to that nature? I don't know. But let's listen to this video, okay? And then y'all can make y'all determinations on what's going on and, and how it's fitting into the scenario that this child don't put herself into. And I got to call her a child because ain't no real woman going to be doing no shit like that. It's hard times. It's hard times. But anyway, let's go and let you listen to the story. Okay. Well, we have an update on Sheree Whitfield's love life. Sheree confirmed that she is indeed dating Martel Holt and that she has already introduced him to her friends. The pair were also captured in a video provided by TMZ showing some public display of affection. Are y'all rooting for this couple? Q, I know you made a, a, a video of it. So, of this story, what do you think? So here is what's interesting. I spoke to one of my colleagues in media who has a very close relationship with Martel Holt. And according to her, Martel Holt is pissed and said that he and Sheree are not together, said that Sheree is not even his type, that he is building a pool for Sheree and is working closely with her pulling permits and so on and so forth, that he is not with her and that his phone was ringing off the hook all day that day and that he is extremely upset that she said that. So. I don't know what the truth is at this point, because on the flip side of things, Sheree has never struck me as the type of woman who would go around claiming a man that's not claiming her. And I don't know how in any way, shape or form she's incentivized or rewarded for attaching a body to her. But according to our media colleague that knows Martel, he's extremely upset and said that she's not his type and that they are not together. Can we see a video of them looking pretty 
Yeah, that don't look like he's doing no pool with the video that we I, just showed. I completely agree. I'm just telling you what the people said. Also, Claudia, I'm going to give a shout out to Freddie O because Freddie O just conducted an interview with her. He caught up with her, and in the interview, he asked her point blank, hey, what's going on with you and Martell? And she shared the skin, and she said that, you know, that they are hanging out, that they're spending time, and that they were introduced through mutual friends. Now, I've known Sheree to do a lot of things, but I don't think she has to lie about this one to the point where he's disgusted. That's kind of weird. I I agree. Um, now I don't know Martel, but from the little stuff that I hear about the show, he doesn't. He seems like he is not born to maybe telling a lie or two. Right. If he's got other women, he's got other women that he's a whole another woman. He has other women that he's you know trying to keep happy and and don't want to make them mad. Of course, it would be a, a negative. Like uh, guys don't like being put on blast when they ain't all the way cleared out all the other girls that they messing with, and he has other people he's still answering to because I. I too, I second that out. Sheree is not a liar, not as far as I know. I she don't need a lot of kickers. She's been in media in the, in the industry long enough. Long enough. She knows that, that would backfire in her face if she lied about a dude like that. And doing interviews, the only thing that only thing that's a little bit weird for me here is that I I've been to Sheree's house. I don't know if you guys have been to her house on the inside of that house. That inside of that house is like a castle. It's beautiful. Furniture, expensive. Everything in there costs a million dollars. I just don't see her dating a man that's got five kids and them five kids coming and running through Chateau Charay. <laughs> I just don't see that. I don't see that part at all. That's the only thing that's a little bit awkward here in this story. And Sheree, if you are dealing with him, which I do believe you are, and he has the audacity to tell people that, that, that you know, he deny you, Please run from him because you deserve a man that will proudly claim you. You don't need Absolutely. all that nonsense. He said it, Sheree, and if you want to know who he told it to, get my phone number from Cynthia Bailey and call me. I'm going to text tell, her after the I, show. She can I get it from me. I tell, or, or, or call Al and I'll tell you exactly who he told it to. Okay, we're going to we're gonna connect y'all two after the show. Well, that's all we got for that situation. You see how this man is moving. And Sheree, you out there, I don't know what y'all doing, bodybuilding together? Y'all finna build y'all something together? I don't know, child. But by all, both of y'all skins were glistening. But uh, <laughs> I just don't understand what went wrong. What went wrong? You claiming a man that's not claiming you, girl. We got to do better. We too old and too seasoned in the game to be sitting like this. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't even know who you were with at the bar, uh, Whitfield. And then you holding his, he, his last name still? Girl, now I got a problem with you holding that last name because all your kids are grown. Now, you ain't got to hold that man's last name no more because I don't think he's going to be leaving you any money unless you got a death benefit on him that you still making payments on. And I'm like, girl, go ahead, do it. What you got to do, do it, do it. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I gave y'all my opinion. You heard the uh, platform. Uh, Fox old Claudia's team over there giving their results of the issue. Now it's time for y'all to weigh in. Get on down in them comments and tell me what it, what it is. What it ain't. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. I want to know. I want to know your opinion. So I will see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.